Hey everybody, welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. I'm doing it from the back of a moving car today. I think I'm crooked here. <laughs> Hi, so uh, I'm on Facebook, Periscope, and Instagram, and uh, welcome to the Danicam. Today, like every Monday just about, we try to get together and talk about something that's gonna make our weeks better, and just help us understand ourselves better, or just have a better life. So. Since tomorrow is voting day, I thought I'd talk a little bit about voting, although this will not be political, I promise you, because guess what? We have enough of that. Don't you agree? Yeah. I need a moving van, not a car. <laughs> Thank you. So who, uh, where are you guys watching from? I, uh, some of you might not have voting day. It's only if you're in the US. Yes, we have Australia. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank you, MZ Mac. I'm glad you like the Hallmark movies. I love making them. Delaware, Illinois, nice. Thanks, these are fun earrings, right? Okay, so why am I dressed like this? First of all, why am I wearing sparkles and pigtails? Strange combination, right? Well, I'm going to Dancing with the Stars tonight just to watch for fun with my mom, and uh, that's why the sparkles, and I thought this was kind of country and fun, right? Chicago, Mississippi, Seattle, nice. Yeah, right, exactly. Right, Michael, enough politics. <laughs> but we're gonna talk about voting in general. I'm just not gonna tell you who to vote for. <laughs> That's the difference. And actually, I'm not even going to tell you to vote. What I'm gonna say, because I don't know, if you if, if a person hasn't done any research whatsoever and doesn't have any opinions about it, and they go to the voting polls, it's kind of reckless, right? Um, I think you should vote if you do some research and you actually have something to say and you want to be heard because you have done the research and you know what you wanna say. You know what you wanna see happen in this country or in your state or your county or whatever it is. So I'm not even telling you just go vote and get your sticker because the sticker is not what it's for. Why, I mean, I don't know. Why should we vote? What, does it matter? I think it matters. You vote for me? Thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really, you guys, seriously, they give you a little pamphlet in the mail. It explains everything. It tells both sides of every story, which I think is very helpful. Very, very, very fun. You'll get more information from that than you will from Twitter, uh, in my opinion. Or, or Instagram or Periscope or anywhere else. So, uh, Draco's doing great. Thank you, Keenan. He's with his dad right now. You're voting tomorrow? So am I. I like voting in person. I mean, I could do the absentee ballot, but since I'm here, I'm, I'll take Draco with me and just show him the process. This is America, and this is what we've been fighting. This is what we, today, just today, we're, we're uh, homeschooling and talking about um, learning about the first Thanksgiving and learning why the Puritans came over here and I was explaining to him is because they weren't allowed to, to to have their own religion. They weren't allowed to worship in the way they wanted to. And it's so hard to relate today because because in most developed countries we do have those freedoms. But that that's not to be taken for granted. I'm not going to advise you to vote for anyone, Mr. No Name Available. You voted two weeks ago. Yes, and voting is a way to be heard. It's a way to be heard, and why is it important to be heard? Why does it feel good to be heard? Why do people tweet things? Why do they tweet their opinions online? Why do why do we do this? There's some part of human nature that needs to be heard, that needs to count, that needs to matter, that needs to have made an impression to, to the, the things that we've been thinking about, the conclusions we've come to, the revelations we've had. We crave sharing those with others. Yes, and yes, <laughs> I'm not telling anybody to vote for any one person or one side or another. And I'll tell you something, for real, I don't always vote. I do not always vote on the same, uh, for the same political party. I really don't. I, I'm, I, I really pay attention to the people, to their histories, to the issues, whatever it is. Um, so you're never gonna hear me. I'm not gonna be one of those celebrities, you guys. <laughs> and if you want one of those celebrities, there are plenty of them, so have at it. Uh, yeah, so, so we need to be heard. We, we want our voices to matter. I'm just suggesting that they be educated voices because otherwise, if we're shouting into Twitter space, just retweeting things we haven't even researched on our own, voting for people just because we had a lot of people telling us to do that, I just feel like we're missing the point. And we are, even in that case, taking our freedoms and our privileges for granted. Wearing those little stickers without really earning them. So. Democracy doesn't work if people stay silent. Absolutely, absolutely. But don't be a sheep. Thank you, Buck12RA. And I really, it, it becomes harder, right? It becomes harder to have our own opinions. 
becomes, that was a phone call, oh God, I'll call him back. It becomes harder to have our own opinions when the country is so divided because people of both sides get so loud. Um, but it's worth it, it's worth it. <laughs> Thank you, Brian, I appreciate that. If there's anything, if there are any ideas that you want to add to this little discussion, this very non-political discussion about voting and being heard, please do. I knew that I was going to have some political comments coming in. That's totally fine. I expected that. That's the world we're living in right now. That's totally fine. But that's just not what I'm here for. My manager's calling me and saying, call me. I'll call him in a few minutes. So, yes, you're voting. That's fantastic. So, uh, I will be showing off my voting sticker for sure. Um, but you will know that I did my research and that I voted for who I believed in. And I'm not trying to get anybody else to vote for who I'm voting it for because I'm not even going to tell you. That's how much I don't want to try to influence you guys. I want you to do your own research. And like I said before, they give us these little pamphlets that explain both sides of every issue, whether it's some municipal issue going on, uh, in the, or if it's, if it's the governor or whatever it is. Um, they explain the whole thing, and you can look up stuff online. But those, the pamphlet is good because it really is bipartisan. Thank you, CP Powers. I appreciate that. I will not tell you, even if you beg me, old mantras. No, I won't. <laughs> so where am I going, Ricardo? I'm going to, to Dancing with the Stars. I'm just going to go to hang out and watch the show with my mom because we try to make it at least once a year. We try to make it every season. Did we make it last season? No. I don't think we did. No, we missed it. it happens sometimes. And I'm not driving, Synth Wizard. Don't worry. I'm in the back seat, in fact, because my mom didn't want me in the front seat. She didn't think it was safe enough. She was like, Dad, I got the airbags. Because of the, the contraption air. you're holding. Because I'm holding a contraption that holds. Archon mounts, thank you, Archon mounts. I've got my three devices here that I can, so I can do uh, Facebook, Periscope, and Instagram at the same time. It is country night, and that is why I'm wearing pigtails, Ed. Very good, yes. So I'm in the back seat. My mom said, no, it's not safe enough in the front seat. The airbag could go off, and then you die. You know, mom, mom stuff. I mean, look, I'm a mom too, I get it. But my son's not in the car, so right now I'm just the kid in the car. Keenan says hi, Mom. Hi. She says hi. You are, uh, Keenan is a, a loyal D Squad member as well as M Squad. That's my manager again. Okay, you guys, I guess I have to call him back. Watch what's going on. Probably something exciting. Who knows? Anyway, watch for me in the audience on Dancing with the Stars. I'll, we'll be there somewhere, hopefully in the front somewhere with good seats. And uh, I'm really, I'm a little bit country and a little bit rock and roll. I love those guys. <laughs> Boo, manager. Sorry, yeah, I'm gonna tell, I'm blaming it all on him, the reason I have to get off. So uh, I'll try to do some Insta stories or whatever. Check out my Insta stories from yesterday. I was at UCLA receiving this wonderful award, the Science and Education Pioneer Award, which is really cool. I, I love being honored for my books. I love writing books for kids, helping math not to be confusing. And um, if you go to mckellarmath.com, you can find all my books there. And uh, I have them for ages zero through 16. My mission is to make math more fun for kids. I'm working on my multiplication division book that comes out in 2020. So I'm keeping myself busy with these. Thank you, Dan. And uh, yeah, and I'm wearing a race sparkly dress today, which I'll get a shot of at some point. Probably Instagram that tomorrow by Shale K. Love them and all their sparkles. They keep me in sparkles. And uh, thank you so much for watching. So be informed. You vote, but do it in, because you want to vote because you read this stuff and you're like, I want to make a difference here. Don't listen to anybody else and, uh, and vote for who you want. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic week. Be heard. Recognize the importance of that in voting and all things. And, uh, I appreciate all of your shares and your follows. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching the Dan Cam and I'll see you later. Mwah. Bye.